Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Evelina here and today we're going to do something different. I have got so many matte lipsticks at home and you know, I don't, I'm a bit of a hermit. I don't go out a lot so I thought I would start a new segment on my channel which is a kind of wear, test, challenge, whatever you want to call it. And I recently bought some Jeffree Star matte lipsticks. I'm wearing the shade Calabasas today which I'm in love with. I think it's a really nice everyday kind of shade. I feel like it's more of a day shade than a night shade but anyway, I put this on it is now 12 o'clock. I'm not going to go into how I'm actually applying it. This is more like how does the product last throughout the day. So you guys are going to spend six hours with me and let's see how this Jeffree Star lipstick actually handles. Something definitely worth mentioning about this formula is that it dried very quickly. Like completely matte in a matter of seconds. That's pretty impressive so far. And this is actually the first Jeffree Star lipstick that I have um, ever tried. So very exciting. First drink test of the day. Nothing, absolutely no residue on the straw so far. Let's see how it performs after six hours though. So I'm getting my nails done and I'm probably pissing off my nail tech because I cannot decide what color I want. <laughs> too long, too short. It's, it's an everyday struggle, isn't it? <laughs> so I found a lovely girl in town called Acid Nails right here in Tamworth. I'm so in love. So very witchy and very sharp. I'm excited to see how the kids go with these. So it is two hours later. The time is now two o'clock. I have been drinking a lot of water. What? Can you shut up? My husband is adding in stupid comments. Two hours later, there's a little bit on this um, straw here, but it's it's still looking pretty good. Now the test is going to be lunch. I'm going to have a late lunch and see if Jeffree Star lipstick can go up against a six inch subway. You thought I was going to say something else then. <laughs> My husband said, hey, if I was talking about something else, it would be seven inch or eight inch. <laughs> TMI? Not enough information. It hasn't cracked so far and that's something that I really dislike in a lipstick. You know, after you've been wearing it for only half an hour and then you do the kiss test and you've got all these little cracks on your fingers. So this has been on for two hours. I've been drinking a lot of water. I haven't eaten yet, but you can see there's nothing there. It does feel a little dry in the corners, but it's not coming off yet. So let's see what happens after I actually eat something. After I put something in my mouth. We should totally do a kiss test. We can do that. Okay, so we're here at Subway. I'm getting my usual chicken teriyaki. Oh my god. I'm not gonna literally make you watch me eat this whole thing, but we'll see how the transfer goes. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'll let you know how my lips look. So exactly 10 seconds later and I am almost finished. Um, I actually can't see because my husband's filming what my lips look like. How do they look to you? Oh my god. Why do you have to go in that close? And I suppose it's helpful if you want to see well, what the lipstick looks like. Yeah. It feels like there's less on there to be honest, but that's probably going to happen because you kind of, kind of end up transferring the lipstick onto whatever you're eating. And I'm eating the lipstick so hopefully it's slightly edible. Okay, you're gonna come with me lounge shopping. We are looking for obviously a new lounge for our house and to the lipstick. It is now four o'clock, so I've had this on for four hours. You saw me eat that subway, like I think it's doing pretty well. It's still not, it is coming off a little bit. I feel like I've lost the shape in the inner corners of my mouth a touch, but you know, after four hours and not reapplying, that's normal. I would usually reapply like after I eat something, so this, this feels quite unusual to me to wear a lipstick and not retouch it like who does that <laughs> i don't think any of you would actually do that comment down below and let me know if you are a weirdo and actually do that so what i am doing is not how you would wear the lipstick in everyday life but i'm trying to show you how it would go if you were to do that so it's kind of a different thing so let's go in and check out some lounges black black oh <gasps> You know, we're actually not looking for black. We're looking for grey. We're trying to be different. Okay, so this is the lounge we are looking at. I'm not looking at red. As I said, I'm looking at grey. I just think white, like we currently have, is too difficult with children. It's so comfy. It has cup holders and five recliners. Five recliners. Five recliners. <laughs> I will mention that sitting on this lounge has had absolutely zero effect on my hips. Mommy, why do you got a bat on? Mommy likes bats. 
Okay, I am back home and it is now 5.30. We're approaching the six hour mark and my little son has something he wants to show you. What's that, buddy? Mousy and Bambi. Your two favorite toys, hey? Mm. What do you think of mommy's lipstick? Gross. Gross? Ah, uh, it's a girly color, hey? Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. I bought mommy's nose socks thing as good. Yes, I've actually been teaching him that. Colors unisex, you know, it's totally fine and acceptable for boys to like pink or purple. Trying to break the gender boundaries that society have cast upon us. Mama, I wanna see what Okay, good. So this is what I was actually going to speak about next. <laughs> Don't stick your finger in that. What is it? So I'm going to have a cup of tea and let you know how this last half an hour goes. What is that? That is the lipstick that mommy has on. And I wanted to show you the packaging as well. If you've got this far through the video, you might be thinking about purchasing the Jeffree Star lipstick and be like, what the hell does it look like? How does it apply? What is the tip like? You sure can. So my son's already done it for you. In true Jeffree Star style, the um, packaging is hot pink with his gold metallic logo. What do you think about that applicator? Look at this. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> What I like about it is it's short. So the Kat Von D ones, just in comparison, um, the Everlasting are really long, the ones. And I find that very difficult to apply because I feel like I'm so far away from my lip. I don't have much precision. So this is uh, much shorter. And the tip of the wand has this little angle, which I find really helps um, in applying it with great ease. Thanks for picking that up with your feet. That's great. <laughs> okay, so this is the little bottle. Doo -doo -doo. And if I can put the phone down, I will try. There we go. You gotta do what you gotta do. I've already got it on, I can't put it on. So that is the wand. I don't know if you can see, it's not straight. It, it goes like at a 45 degree angle. It's really good for getting into the inner corners. So I'm just about to have a cup of tea. Oh, thank you, little Joey. Mm. How good do my new nails look? Damn! Check out acid nails if you're in Tamworth. Oh, thanks, buddy. That's really sweet of them. I missed you today. Okay, so I'm gonna enjoy my final cup of tea and then we will come back and have a final little chat about this lipstick. Okay, so still just ask for a lip swatch. I thought that might be a good idea to do as well. These are going to change on skin tone to skin tone. <laughs> He's trying to show you. Where's your lip swatch? There we go. Oh, look at your beautiful skin, baby. That's probably actually more realistic. Professional lip swatch coming up here from Steel to Mori. I'm having this one. That's it. Turn the wand over the other way. That's it. Good boy. You like the color now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, very good coverage, isn't it? And what do you think about the formula? I like it too. Good. Okay, so it is Steel to Mori approved. <laughs> you want to say, hi, welcome to my channel? Yeah. <gasps> you want to say, thanks for watching? Yeah. Do you want to say, your face is like a bum? No. Oh, come on, you love saying that. That's like the first thing you say to grandma. It is six o'clock, guys. I've just finished my cup of tea and I'm impressed. This is the first time that I have tried Jeffree Star lip products. And I'm actually dying to try the blood sugar palette, which I haven't got my hands on yet because it is sold out. So after this cup of tea, even the transfer after six hours is minimal. What's minimal? Minimal means there's not much. Small. Yeah. So you can see on my cup, if I turn it around here, there's really not that much on there. I'm not sure if it's just because it's a lighter color. I'm curious to try the darker shade that I bought. I think it's called um, Hi Hawaii. It's a bright red, so I'm curious to see if that transfers off. I have a bit of an idea that ones that are more neutral kind of natural looking shades are obviously easier to be long wearing um, as opposed to the really bright vibrant colors so we shall see i am going to take off my makeup now and i'm going to try this as well so i might give that a little review put in the comments below if you've enjoyed this video so far i have thoroughly enjoyed wearing this lipstick i haven't tried enough of his products so i'm not going to give it any kind of rating at this point i'm just going to say that i'm very impressed with how this has stayed on please comment down below if you enjoyed this type of video i thought it was a fun way to kind of let you in and see me with my family in a kind of more casual way but also do something related to makeup that i'm really into so please hit that subscribe button hit the bell as well so you're notified when i upload a new video and i will see you in the next video bye Say bye. Say bye. Ready? We'll do it together. One, two, three. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Say goodbye. Your face is a bomb. Say Your bye. Your eyeballs.
comes of a penis. <laughs> Parenting fail.